Hey everyone, Kevin here with Divinely Design and we're going to do a card making video today. And what I would like to do is use some alcohol inks. I've actually never used them um, before today. Now I've already made a couple of alcohol inked sort of swatches and a card from it. We'll look at those a little bit later. But um, I'm just going to go through sort of the process of how I made some of my swatches. Now I have a couple of inks I've chosen. Um, uh, these are all from the Tim Holtz Ranger uh, line. So I'm going to use uh, cranberry, sailboat blue, eggplant, and a little bit of gold. And I have um, just a felt pad on um, one of the uh, ink blending tool toppers. Now the, the felt pads themselves are larger and there's a square mixer or there's a square holder that comes with it. I couldn't find mine so I'm just using my um, ink blending tool for it, but I've just taken the little felt pad and cut it in half and put it on here. Now, I should mention before I start, this, this what I'm using here is actually um, comic book card. So if you are a collector of comic books and you store them in plastic bags, um, a lot of times they will put a cardboard um, backing to them so that the comic book isn't bent uh, in any way. So I've taken the cardboard, the comic book um, board and cut it in half. And the reason I'm using that is because it has a glossy finish. Let's see if I can get some better light here while I'm filming. Um, it has a glossy finish to it already. Uh, and that's important for the technique we're going to do today. So I just have it on a piece of foam, um, fun foam that I've covered with some press and steel with this sticky side up so that it doesn't move. That was a good tip from uh, uh, Carol Held over at um, Stamp Nation. It was genius. Um, so I just have it here so it doesn't move. I'm going to take my little ink blending tool and I'm going to add... Um, some inks to it. I'm going to take my caps off. Now I don't really have a particular um, design I guess that I'm doing. But I'm just going sort of in this warm kind of blue purpley kind of uh, field. Uh, the metallics, the gold uh, that I have here, it is important to shake them uh, before you use them. Okay, so the first technique is just to add the ink to the ink blending the felt pad here. And I'm just adding a few drops. And then the gold, I'm adding just a tiny little bit. It doesn't really take a lot of the metallics, just tiny little pieces. Okay, and then I'm just going to sort of pounce it all over my board. Okay, now you could certainly stop right here. I mean, that's kind of cool looking, um, but another technique that you can do is to add drops onto this um, this piece that you already add. So I'm going to take a few, let's see, I'm going to use the blue, I think, just a few drops directly on the page. And maybe a little bit of the kind of purpley color too. All right. And that has a lot more liquid on it. So one of the cool things I have liked to do is now I'm going to take some alcohol blending solution and add a couple of drops. Now some I'm going to add into those drops that I just added and others I'm going to add kind of outside of them. And
you're gonna see it actually just start to move all on its own. Some of those will kind of flow into each other um, and it's gonna give you this kind of cool pattern. The thing I like using the metallics also is when you use the ink blending solution or even just the drops of the ink, it will sort of pick up the the um, the metallics, like you can see here, it sort of picks them up and pushes them uh, and it, or it gives you a metallic edge to this like river that you've done here. I really like that that look that happens. Now, you could pick this up, since I have some big pools, um, you could certainly kind of pick it up and move it around a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna let this actually dry. Well, I'm gonna do one other step, I think. I might add just a little bit of no, no, I think I'm going to leave it go for right now. I might dab just this little corner over here. Just cause... Okay, it dries really quickly. Um, I'm, I want to add a little bit more just gold, I think, to this. I'd like to give it a little bit more shimmer. So I'm... All right, and I think what I want to do now is I'm actually going to use some 91% alcohol and I'm going to spray that on here. Now, if you make big drops, you're going to get just like we sort of did when I did the big drops of the color itself and you'll sort of get these rivers. If you can do kind of tiny drops, you'll get a different pattern. So I have some 91% alcohol in a spray bottle and I am just going to try to get kind of a fine mist. I'm going to spray it kind of from far away. All right, I didn't spray a lot. Now, you can see it start to move a little bit on its own and it almost gives you kind of a crackle appearance. And again, where it hits that metallic, it sort of pushes it to the edge. I really like that kind of effect that it does. Um, I'm going to give it a little, maybe just a little bit more spray here. Kind of little bigger pools. Okay, I'm going to hit it with the heat gun and I th All right, I think I want to do one more actually. I'm going to take um, a fresh felt pad and I'm going to use just some of the alcohol blending solution on the pad, no color. So I'm just adding a fair amount on there. And again I'm going to pounce it in different areas. I'm trying to soften this just a little bit. So the alcohol blending solution by itself will sort of lift a little bit of the color and soften it just a little bit. Okay, I think that's better. I kind of like that. It's uh, definitely very cool. It kind of looks almost space-like here. Um, but I was going again for that warm blue, kind of purpley kind of color. And um, I really like that. So I've done a few, um, a few different swatches today. So beside this one, which is kind of purpley, um, I have a couple others that I did. Um, this, uh, this one here is uh, actually the, the layering. I did the silver and gold kind of as the first layer. Then on top of it, I layered it with a mix of yellows and then on top of that some orange, and then finally some brown. Um, and that just came out beautiful. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with that one yet, but um, I love the, the effect that came out with it.
Um, this one, I was going for kind of a galaxy kind of color, right? So I, this was great, and this came out just fantastic. The sil I used silver and a bunch of purples, um, and um, what was the other color? Some wild plum. Um, and that just looks amazing. I, I have to think of the right project kind of to use that for, but love the way that came out. You can definitely see here where that silver metallic got pushed to the edges um, and sort of made those rivers kind of defined with the metallics, and that just is awesome looking. And then this last one is more like we just did where I used the spray bottle um, and kind of sprayed some alcohol directly on it to give it that, um, you know, those little broken up kind of pattern. And this is the one, I'm gonna use this one to make a card. 